guys and girls. Um, I have never ever, I've never ever had a beef jerky before. Um, I've seen them advertised primarily on um, American TV, American movies. Um, and they do them in my local um, st store, shall we say, or uh, my local petrol station, uh, which has a shop. So I thought, okay, let me try it. It wasn't too much. I had the money, so I thought, let's do it. So here we have these beef jerkies right here. Um, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put my mic down so you guys can get a better look at it. Okay, yeah, I do find it interesting, some of the, uh, if I look at the ingredients, it says for some of the ingredients, um, okay, beef, sugar, salt, spices, contains celery, I do actually like celery, I know celery is a very widely hated food, I like celery, but why celery would be in beef jerky, I don't know, or beef jerkies, whatever, it's not my usual cuisine, but there you go, flavouring. Of course, yeast extract. Okay, yeast extract is like basically marmite, so that's a bit weird. It probably won't taste that nice. Then it might taste very salty. Nit nitrite curing salt, salt preserving agent, sodium nitrite, antioxidant. There's antioxidants in beef jerky. Really? Hmm. I might have this after I work out in the gym then on a regular basis if it's that good for me. Um, well, it's obviously not good. It's got lots of salt in it, but anyway. Um, extract of rosemary. So, not rosemary, but an extract of rosemary. Okay, cool to go. Um, it's got acidity regulator to regulate the acidity of the of this. Um, I don't know why beef would be acidic, but there you go. Um, okay, smoke flavouring, that makes sense, because it's, it's, it's beef and it's beef jerky, so it should taste a bit smoky. Um, yeah, it says it takes... It takes 187 grams of beef for 100 grams of beef jerky. What happens to the other 87 grams? It takes... Well, I have to read that again. Wait, wait. So it takes 187 grams of beef for 100 grams of beef jerky. Maybe the 87 grams that they removed... Because obviously they don't put that in the packaging. Maybe the 187 grams um, is fat and it goes in the dustbin. I don't know because this is, you know, I'd imagine really lean meat. I mean, when I see this, it kind of looks like a dog treat, in my opinion. It looks like something you'd give to a dog. Like, it, it, honestly, it looks like treats for a dog. Uh, I was just saying that um, it looks like something that you'd give to a dog. Um, and here's some information about it. It's all the calories and everything. That's what it says. As you can see, there, it says 71 calories, I think. It says 71 calories. 71 calories, that's for one portion, which is 25 grams. So how much is this, 25 grams? 71 calories, really? That's for one portion. Well, this is one portion. Per 100 grams. Well, it's not per 100 grams, it's 25 grams in here, so. Okay, cool. I'm going to try it. It says sweet and hot, so let's try it. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> here it goes, guys, here it goes. Alright guys, um, I've, I've just, I've tried not to smell it because I wanted to wait until I had the microphone near my face to smell it, but, um, hmm, it smells of, I smell the rosemary, it smells of bacon, it smells like bacon, um, it also smells like oregano, thyme, rosemary, those sort of herbs. It smells of all-purpose seasoning. It does smell very salty as well. Um, okay, well, I guess I better give it a taste then, see what it tastes like. <laughs> Let's try one of them. Okay, so this is what it looks like. That's it. That's literally it, guys. So it looks like a bacon rasher, kind of. It's a little bit flexible. As you can see there. 
Okay, so I'm going to go and taste it now. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. It's my first... This, I don't know why I'm nervous. I've never tried beef jerky before. So, let's see. Are you, meant, are you meant to swallow this? This is too chewy. This is... I can understand why my instincts are telling me that this looks like something for a dog. I can understand. This is so chewy. Like... Mmm. But it is nice, though. Okay. I think I was wrong. It's not bad. It's not bad, actually. It is obviously sweet and hot, like it says. But it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was expecting it to taste plasticky. Okay, yeah, it is quite chewy. Um, yeah, that that definitely is hot. I can feel it on my tongue. I can feel. I've swallowed it. <laughs> but um, that's what she said. That's what he said as well. Um, yeah, so it's obviously in my system now. But it's very interesting. This is meant to be like a a snack that. Lots of Americans have. The only way that I know of beef jerky is because the main type of TV and film that's advertised is American related. So you see a lot of this in um, in the media when it comes to snacking products. This is this is interesting, guys. This is really. I just got this last piece left. I'm gonna have this last piece. Let me see. So when you first start chewing it, do you think? Okay, wow, this is really hard. That's what she said. And you think, how is it possible to even swallow this? How, how, does, how does one swallow such a, a chewy, rocky substance? And then you keep chewing it. And what emanates from it is lots of salt content. Um, obviously your mouth salivates when you eat, so that mixes with beef jerky, beef jerky, it makes it juicy. I'd probably describe it as lean red meat that's been dehydrated, um, and before dehydration, pre-dehydration, packed with loads of flavour, and then dehydrated so all the flavour is sealed into the beef jerky, chucked in a package, heat sealed, sent out of the factory, onto the shop shelves, and into, into people's mouths. So, yeah. Hmm. Sweet, spicy, and barbecue. That's what I'm getting from it. I'm getting sugar, tiny bit of salt. Spice <clears throat> and barbecue. Okay, well, it does make your breath stink, kind of. Um, when you first open it, it does kind of smell a little bit similar. What the hell is that? Where did that come from? I've literally just seen something that's inside of it. What's this? Is this is this that saliva gel or is it silica gel? Oxygen absorber. Oh, okay. It's so that they can keep the uh, beef jerky dehydrated and in a state of uh, preservation so that no moisture forms inside of the actual packet um, before it's heat sealed. So they have a little thing. This is similar to uh, that uh, uh, silica gel that you find when you buy bags or when you buy um, shoes or wh whatever it is that you're buying, they put uh, silica gel in it to um, prevent moisture. They've done the same with this because I assume when it's dehydrated, it's in the factory. If there's any heat involved, if it's going through certain temperatures that are extremely hot, extremely cold, 
it can create condensation that can ruin it and then obviously they will receive complaints and might even get sued. I know Americans uh, sue as much as they breathe, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, there you go. That's uh, that's the beef jerky. I'll just try and. There you go. So there you go. This is gonna be my uh, evening snack. Just go along with my my tea, you know. And obviously my water. Okay, guys, that's it. I don't want to make the video too long because um, a lot of you, uh, a lot of you I know, don't watch my videos in its entirety. A lot of you watch about two minutes and then you click off. So um, not your fault. There's loads of competition for eyeballs, so I understand. You know, you can't. I can't keep all of you. That's inevitable. So yeah, that's my review of beef jerky. Never tried it before, so I thought, why not? Hey, you know jump on it, you know, see see what it's like, see what all the fuss is about, because um, Americans, not so much now, but I'm a 90s kid, so I'd say in the thousands, like in between 2000 and 2010, especially in between 2000 and 2005, 2007, a lot of people made a big fuss about beef jerky, I've always wondered why people talk about it so much, so I just thought I'd just, just shove it in my gob and see how it goes, so there you go guys, that's it, that's the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, okay, so I've, I've got a Twitch at the moment. I have a Twitch. Go to the description below. Click uh, more info, I think it is, or click whatever it is below the video to see all the information. Um, so you'll see my Twitch channel that I have. I'm going to be up um, doing things on there soon. I have a Discord. Make sure you check that out. That's down below. I have a Twitter. I have a Tumblr. I have a Facebook page. Um, you can like and you can keep up to date with all my future videos. Um, I have an Instagram. I think I've mentioned I have Tumblr. If I haven't, I have a Tumblr. I'm going to be using my Tumblr for inspirational quotes, um, which I'll be posting when I feel like it. <laughs> also sharing my videos and sharing whatever I feel like sharing at the time, but I'm going to try and keep it to inspirational quotes for now. Um, so there's that. I have another channel, Jazzy J Talks. Go to that. I have a third channel, Jazzy J Self Help. Go to that. All of this information can be found down below. And if you go in that description and you look for all that info, I love you. Um, so there you go, That's this is my video, so yeah, okay, alright, love, this camera's back to front because it's, I'm using my webcam so it's back to front, anyway, love, peace, and, mm -hmm.